Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how you can import your media files in Luma Fusion. There are several ways to import your media files in Luma Fusion, but I'm going to show you my preferable way and which way you should follow. When you are importing your medias in Luma Fusion, Luma Fusion actually makes some local copies in your storage. Only using Photos app, Luma Fusion doesn't make any local copies. You can directly import your video files or media files from Photos app directly. So if I click on Luma Fusion, it will get open. Let's make a new project. If I click on this plus sign, then it will ask for a name let's name it test then i have to click on this plus sign here is my blank project i need to input my media files in order to start my video editing there are several ways to input your media files you can see that photos app you can import your media files using photos app you can import your media files using files app and here is the section called imported in this section all the imported files are being saved and the fourth option is story blocks story blocks is a stock video website if you purchase their subscription then you can actually download the video files from their website then titles you can make some titles or you can use some pre-built titles from this section and the last option is transition if you want to use some transition in between your video clips then you have to use transition and you will get all the transition here so let's see the first option which is photos if i click on this photo section then i can see there are several folders first option is all photos and videos if i tap on this section i can see all of my photos and images in this section i can directly use those files in my video project if i click on this video section then i can see only videos portion just tap on a video then you can mark in time or out time from here or just by clicking on this bracket sign if i press on this sign then it will directly get imported in my timeline or i can just click and drag this file in my timeline so this is the easiest way to import your media files in luma vision because luma vision doesn't make a local copy of that file the second option is files most of the time i use file section to import my video files from my external hard drive or my camera or my audio recorder and then i select those files to import in luma fusion you, you can import any files from your storage from your external drive or camera or a sound recorder using this file section also you can import cloud files using that option let's click on files then i can see a option called add to link folder we can create link folder here if we put any files to that folder LumaFusion will automatically pull up this file here let's make a linked folder let's choose a folder and then click done then i can see that gems prince is a folder that is linked to LumaVision. then if i click on this folder i can see the file content on that folder we can directly import this file just by selecting in point and out point and clicking and dragging that file in my timeline you can see that this file is imported in luma vision and of course luma vision will make a local copy of, of that file if i click on back then you can see cache media that is the section where this file is temporarily saved if i click on this section you can see that my clip is being saved in that folder let's import a video from my internal storage if i click on this three dot then i can click on import media then files i can select any files that i want to import from here on my iPad, then if I go to this section, then Luma Fusion, I can see my intro, then I can click on this section. Here is my intro is being imported in Luma Fusion. Also from this section, you can import files from your external drive. So if I click on import media, then files, then my device is not connected yet. Let's connect it. So here is my external drive if i click on this section then i can select this video file and then i can import it you can see that my video is imported here you can access all those imported media from this imported section just by clicking on this imported section you can see all those imported media files also if you have some files in google drive or any other cloud drive then you can also import those files using this section if I click on Google Drive, then I can see my Google Drive files and I can directly input those files here. Let's move on the next section, which is 
titles we can see a lot of titles are pre-built with LumaVision you can use those files or titles in your project just by clicking and dragging those files in your timeline you can see that that is being imported we'll discuss this in a later videos so these are the way that you can use to import your media files in LumaVision we will explore title and transition in a separate episode so this is all for today i hope you have enjoyed this video a lot if you have learned something new from this episode please hit the like button and subscribe to my youtube channel i'll catch you guys on the next video until then goodbye